Hmm. Yep, that's my intro. This is the links. Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and today we are indeed talking about the Lynx, version 2. This is the brainchild of Orion Blasters. Its logo is right here on the back, next to where it says Lynx, and it is printed and assembled by Silver Fox Industries. Let's get this out of the way. This was sent to me for free, for review, for use, by my friends over at Silver Fox Industries. I am wearing their shirt. They send me the coolest stuff and I wanted to pay for this in some sort of way because it was too much for them to do. I've purchased two talent claws from them, one that is beautiful in its own right and one that is way too beautiful for its own right, and they said no. This blaster is quite impressive. And what's funny is that I really didn't think about this for the majority of 2020. I did see a little bit of the Lynx version 1 back in 2019, and I believe I saw the beginnings of the Lynx at the end of the year, but this blaster wasn't really on my radar. This really just kind of popped, and I think there's a good reason that people should be excited for it. And I like a lot of blasters, don't get me wrong. Uh, high performance springers, I don't know all the fine details, whatnot. Uh, but I have been a big fan of the Talon Claw system. It does work well for my size, the priming weight compared to a Caliburn, and this is a very fair competitor to the Talon Claw option and the Talon Claw platform. So first, let's talk about what is the Lynx. Well, it's a cat. Meow. More importantly, let's read the description. The Lynx is a bullpup mag-fed pump-action homemade blaster for half-length darts. The design was released as an open source, non-commercial license file set by Orion Blasters. It features closed bolt mag swaps, slam fire is compatible with all long shot and talon claw springs, and can be completely disassembled without tools. Optional thumb magazine release also available. Now this one is only compatible with worker talon magazines at the moment, and it, as far as spring options, yes, it is compatible with the Silver Fox Industries K25 spring or I should say SF25 TC spring. It is not actually a K25 per se. This is shooting like 200 to 220 FPS. I don't know why it's a little bit hotter than the other averages that they had, but it is. This thing is a powerhouse. This is possibly the most powerful Springer that I own now in my collection. Maybe my Spring Thunder shooting single will, will do that as well, but this is darn impressive for a really easy prime weight. I am actually very, very surprised that it is as comfortable as it is. And for someone of my size, I am not huge, I am short, I am not the strongest man in the world. Uh, that really does matter to me because something like a K26 is not something I want to be priming all day, but that was really easy. And the fact that you can just slam fire that afterwards is impressive too. I have no magazine in here with darts, so I'm not going to do that. And then you can load more, which is great. Now, funny enough, even when you are firing with a dart in there, it is very quiet. This is a very quiet blaster for the power that it actually provides. The color choices you see here, Brett, isn't your color style just white with orange? I don't freaking know. Sometimes there's green, sometimes there's blue. What do you want from me? This green is a similar emerald green that I got with my Hyper Pistol from Silver Fox Industries. You get in a, a theme here, and I really, really enjoyed it. And they said, even though it was a pain to print this particular filament, it came out really darn beautiful. That coupled with the white and the orange accents, I think make a very fine blaster. And it's all over their website, so I think they're pretty proud of it too. The print qualities on this are fan-freaking-tastic. It's, it's beautiful stuff, and that's why I gave away three hypers uh, with my last giveaway from them because I know the quality they put out is something that they're proud of and you'll be proud of as well. Look how thin this is. Holy smokes. Like this blaster does not weigh much, which really matters again for someone like me who is smaller. The Talon Claw is a great option for that as well because it's, you know, small and compact, but this is noticeably thinner than a Talon Claw. Bang. This being a bullpup means that it loads back here, which stays in just fine. I have never had a magazine drop for any odd reason. What I really like about this as well, and was mentioned in that description, are the mag release options. Now, on this blaster, I have both mag release options installed. 
this bar right here in orange is actually a thumb release and then back here in white is the standard mag release. I have found that I use both. So if you want to, in my opinion, grab the magazine from the bottom, you just hit this with your thumb now it comes. Now you're holding the magazine by the bottom. If you want to grab the magazine from the top, go back here. Now you're holding it by the top. Why might you do that? Uh, for like loading into a dump pouch or putting it somewhere? I don't know, it's really up to you. I really do like to fidget with it as well. It is really easy for me to hit that with my thumb. And so I do kind of gravitate towards this thumb mag release because it's, it's just right there. And it's kind of like how if you had one for a talon claw, you might just always be hitting it with your pointer finger. I like it, you might not. It's just a little extra piece on the bottom. Stock right here is a good size for me. Again, small, compact, nice. Never have any problems with the magazine here as well. And the grip is, is good, it's good stuff. And then up here in the front, I have a Caliburn style foregrip. I don't remember what this is called, but this is from my original Caliburn. Oh yeah, they printed me a Caliburn a while back. That was another thing I, I paid for um, a long, long time ago. And then this is the, I believe, Pentavictus barrel that has been adapted from Tauntacles to this blaster by Ryan. This is like one of the only bullpups I own as well. I'm not a huge like bullpup enthusiast for no particular reason. I just don't own that many of them, but I have no gripes about using this and I don't think I would be concerned about using it for like a game competitive or whatnot. Easy peasy. It takes Talon mags as stated and the pro darts really are the way to go. This thing loves its pro darts. I have found the most consistency with the pro darts from this blaster than anything else. Now there are a few different ways if you want to get this blaster you can. Uh, Silver Fox Industries sells the printed parts for it or they have kits, or they can make the entire blaster for you. They're doing that on a rolling basis though because the orders have been very demanding for this thing, so they're trying not to overwhelm their supplies. Or Orion Blasters also sells the hardware kits if you are looking to print the parts yourself. So those are a few different options that are regularly producing stuff for the Lynx. It's 2020, the Nexus Pro exists, the Aeon Pro exists, why should I buy an almost $200 blaster when I can just buy a $50 or $25 blaster from Walmart. Brett, that seems like the dumbest purchase of my life. This is a community blaster again. People put their own work into making something like this. This didn't happen overnight. I, I saw this kind of come to fruition over a long period of time and the results speak for themselves. This is a great piece of engineering, of hard work, of testing. And the reason it's so great is because it took so long to develop. And that's why I think people are, are really falling in love with this platform. That costs some money. Individuals are making this blaster and they are working hard so that you actually get a decent product. A homemade community obviously is not going to be as cheap as a Nexus Pro. One extra thing on this blaster that you probably can't see in this focus, but Ryan did ask if I wanted an extra little logo on this thing before he printed it. And I said, I don't know something and he threatened to put on the the thinking emoji which arguably is the best emoji out there but we took it a step further and we made the thinks it is the thinking links and it is beautiful and if you take nothing else away from this video take the thinks because me thinks that you might um, like this blaster yep i said that okay i look forward to seeing what more people do with this i've already seen some amazing remixes and i i can't wait to see if this gets newer versions or, or what comes next from orion blasters because this is a pretty solid offering this has been me gushing about a blaster i received for free for a good amount of time again thank you so much to silver fox industries for making this possible you guys do a little too much for me and i promise i'll pay you back in some way shape or form but if you are interested in this blaster, links description box below. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Don't know what that was about. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.